this take take you a while to get comfortable against their zone, or what do you think led to the slower start? Did it, did it take a while to get used to their zone, or what, what do you think led to the slower start? Um, you know, I just think uh, we just uh, we just came off the gas kind of slow. Just our moments, our energy. I don't, I don't think uh, our energy level was there, but I mean, Arkansas. I mean, they they controlled the pace the whole the whole game. I mean. They're a great team, and uh, it showed right there. I mean, we just got to make sure we bring it every day. Because, like, piggybacking on what Coach Index said, I mean, we get college basketball. It's happening everywhere. Sorry. It looks like for you personally right now, you're in good rhythm. You had a career-high 24 points last week, tonight 21. Can you talk about what's the difference right now for you? I'm um, just, uh, just playing slow, just kind of just waiting for things to come to me. I mean, and we have a point guard like Johnny Carson. I mean, he's finding me <coughs> at good spots. And so is everybody else. I mean, I'm just kind of just playing slow and just playing my game. So it seemed like offensive execution was a big emphasis coming in this game. Mm -hmm. How disappointed was it to come off a little slow like you guys did in the first half? Um, I mean, it was very, very good this point coming off uh, uh, very slow the second half. But I mean, we did shoot 16 and 20 from the free throw line. I mean, we did hold the other team to 29, shooting 29 percent for the whole game, which is good for us because we shot 40. But just coming back to it, we just got to just gotta be ready to play every game. I mean, not every game is going to be as easy <coughs> as it uh, seems. Not every game is going to be just there for us to just take. We got to work because if you obviously you got to see Arkansas, they work and they're a good team. So the 17 0 run in the second half really seemed to be the, the big difference in this one. Just take us through that. You guys clicking at that point or what happened? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, Evan Gordon really stepped up in the second half. I think uh, he made some good. Uh, penetrating kicks and uh, he made a couple of threes to kind of get himself going and uh, so did John Gillen. John Gillen was big in the second half and he three threes almost back to back to back so that was definitely huge for us. I just think uh, we definitely dug down on defense on the other end just picking up the energy and uh, just being smart. You mentioned Gordon he, he's been struggling with his shooting uh, just what type of shooter have you seen him in practice and Man, Are you surprised he's gone up this kind of Evan, thing? Evan is amazing at what he does. He can score the ball, man. He can really score the ball. And for him, I mean, he's starting out slow right now, but we just got to continue to kind of just continue to give him confidence. And he, he knows he knows he can shoot. He knows he can make every shot. He's just got to continue just to work on it. I mean, it's going to come. I mean, like tonight, hopefully tonight is a good rhythm start for him and just get going for the next game because we have a big game coming up, coming up on uh, Saturday. So. With that, did you uh, did you notice the spirits on the bench? Because he only played four minutes in the first half. Did, were you guys kind of keeping him up, or what was he? What was Evan looking like on the bench in the first half? Uh, on the bench, the first half, Evan, uh, he had a lot of energy. If you can tell, I mean, our everyone from the end of the bench all the way to the front of the bench, everybody has energy and everybody's uh, energetic. And uh, <clears throat> definitely, our bench was a big part of this game, just giving us energy and just continuing to uh, just give us talk throughout the game. So.